Hola, hola, welcome to this week's vlog. So we are a week into January, and I think it's time that we put Christmas away. I know, boo. All the lights give the house such a warmth inside and out, but it's definitely time for a January refresh. So spend the week with me because yes, it is gonna take all week because it took me days and weeks to decorate the whole house and just start again, fresh palette, clean, amazing beautiful chic whatever you want to call it let's start with the outside and work our way in wish me luck as usual grab a cup of coffee a tea a soda whatever you want and enjoy Good morning, beautiful people. So I finished most of the outside, I would say. I have all the lights off and they're just in the front patio, just ready to get boxed up. But I need to take a break because it's so hot out there. I don't live to be outside the heat and I'm missing the tall palm trees. I don't like to be on the tall, tall ladder. Well, same ladder, just extended to the tallest height because it's dangerous and I don't like to do that when I'm home alone. So I have to wait till Chad's here. So that is on the back burner till later in the week. But now, sadly, I'm like, I'm sad. Chad's probably gonna be sad too because it's time to take out Christmas inside. Take out, put away. I haven't done much today, but I think I want to give us a small break. You know, 23 is not 23. 2023 20, is not a year of rushing things and living up to people's expectations. You know, everybody starts their New Year's resolutions. I don't love New Year's resolutions. I'm all into goal setting, but I don't want to set myself up for failure if and then later in the year I'm not reaching my goals or achieving what I wanted to do. I just kind of always have what I want to do in the back of my mind, in the center of my mind, in the front of my mind. 
here and I do my best. But with that being said, I think we've done a little bit for now and now it's time to go grocery shopping. Also, I want to go to Target as usual. Number one, because we need drinks. And number two, because Tabitha Brown had her new collection come out a few days ago. And I love Tabitha Brown. That's your business. And I want to see what she has. She has like cookware and like home decor. And now she has a vegan line that is like a vegan food that went out with her launch. So I want to check it out. From the grocery store and of course I'm gonna give you guys a quick Whole Foods haul. So I got some white beans, baby corn, garlic, these frozen mixed vegetables, some energy drinks for Chad, some tea, broccoli, pecan halves, lots of salad, some pad thai, soy sauce, extra virgin olive oil, vegetable broth, these thin stackers brown rice crispers, Rainbow carrots, strawberries, cilantro, blueberries, raspberries, these perfectly crisp jalapeno cheese crisps, cherry tomatoes, actual cherries, dino kale, lemon lime, shallots, avocado, onion, red and yellow bell peppers, chicken, and lastly, some beef. Can't forget the drinks. We got some orange Zevia, Pellegrino, Poppy Raspberry Rose Soda, and Unsweetened Iced Tea. And before we go back to our Christmas de-decoration, I wanna show you guys what I got from the Tabitha Brown collection. They didn't have as much as I wanted in terms of food, but I had to leave with something. Okay, first I got this vegan jalapeno lime hummus. Looks delish. And I got this vegan garlic seasoned plant patties, which I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this because we're not eating bread right now. But we'll see, it'll be good. And a little sweet treat because why not? This sweet and salty popcorn. So good, yeah? Look, Tabby's in the back. Can you guys tell I love her? And I got these kitchen towels. Look how cute. I love the designs. So cute. And oh, one more thing. Very good. Is this so sweet? Because, you know, I cook it up in the kitchen every day. <laughs> so now Tabitha will cook with me. It is a new day and the mess has just continued. This is the current state of the house. I brought out all the boxes and it's definitely time to start packing. So wish me luck, cause there is so much to do. And then I wanna move all the furniture in this room around just to get like a new setup, freshen it up, especially because we have this new bench that my brother made us. Yes, handmade, we love it. Here I'm like, oh my God, I'm doing so good. I'm almost done. I can take a rest. I've been taking breaks and snacks. But I was like, oh my God, I'm finished. I can move on. I can clean. I can move on with my life. I remember they're still upstairs. Uh. Ha, 
Hi, I'm back. It is a multiple days later, many, many hours, but all of Christmas is officially gone. At least from the inside. Remember the outside is still missing, kind of. Anyways, many sweat, tears. I think I almost even cried yesterday. Very stressful. The house is somewhat clean and I wanna show you guys. So let's take a mini downstairs house tour just to show you again i didn't go too crazy but it is a refresh it is a fresh canvas for more decorating and housing what is the act of is it like homemaking yes i am a homemaker in 2023 you okay we're off topic off track let me show you guys the house let's start with the heart of the home the kitchen just got a quick little refresh. There wasn't a lot of Christmas in here. It was in that little corner, but that's gone. I moved the KitchenAid to the other side. This is Chad's new pasta book that I got him for Christmas. Just wiped on the counters really quick. These are those new kitchen towels from Tabitha Brown's collection. It's a pop of color. Do we love it? Obviously. Our drink station, one of my new Christmas gifts that Chad got me. It's an ember mug. These are amazing if you don't know what they are. They are self-heating mugs, I guess, that run on a battery. 10 out of 10, recommend. Next is the living room. So nothing too crazy. Just kind of cleaned up the couch this week. Got everything off the console. Just our normal stuff. Got rid of that wreath that was there. That blue vase needs flowers. Oh, and if you didn't know, this is from Tabitha's previous collection at Target. So just a little refresh, nothing crazy. And in the entryway, these stars are gone. No more stars and the light up garland. Bye guys. So now only this light gives us illumination and happiness. This is the biggest transformation, even though a lot of you guys might not think, <laughs> but the tree is gone and I just kind of moved the chairs around. I don't know if I love this. I feel like the wall is too wally. It's so blank. I would love a lamp in the corner. There's the Philips Hue light stick that we're kind of having our eye on. So maybe that we're just still thinking about it. And the bar car now lives here, which does a bar car live in a sitting area? Especially if it's not really a bar, who knows, but that's its home for now. And this is that bench I was talking to you guys about that my brother made. He hand made this and stained it, painted it. Isn't it lovely? Best brother ever. So cute. But yeah, this is our sitting area for now and if the chairs are here, then you can watch TV. So I think for now it works. Let me take you guys to the dining room now. So no more huge wreath, took that down. And this is for a future project, probably next week. I'm gonna do some DIY art on that. Probably what I did to the pedestals in the living room, some plaster and then maybe paint. This is a work in progress. I'm feeling blue, so that's what's there. No more Christmas centerpiece. Took all the lights out. And this, I'm not super loving this, but it's a work in progress. I just wanted to get everything clean. Styling is definitely important to me, but for now, I just wanna get the house kind of in order. This is definitely something that I can go back and relook at and play with, which is super fun. So yeah, this is kind of what the house is looking like right now. I'm just glad things are in order and they don't look crazy and there's not boxes everywhere and we can functionally live in our home. Oh, the backyard's a whole other situation, but I think we're happy with what we got. Right, Peppy? Yeah. Let me not forget the loft. This wasn't too crazy. I just swapped out the Christmas tree for this faux fiddly fig. No more carls in there. That black wreath is gone. Don't dock me points for that empty photo frame. I know, bad feng shui. I just need to fill it with something cute. And yeah, just a quick clean so we can just kind of hang out up here. 
I couldn't stand seeing that vase empty, so I made a quick trip. The art festival was so cute. I loved all the art. God, it was so super rich. So I could just buy it all. Oh, there was so much delicious food there that I just wanted to buy, but I chose a healthy option, as you saw. What a great Saturday morning. <laughs>